Next, let's have a look at an if statement with a nested if statement. In other words, an if statement within another if statement. So we'll start off with our opening and closing PHP tags. Then I'm going to declare two variables in this case. Say admin equals one. And password equals my password. So what this is going to do, it's going to check whether we have admin rights. If we do have admin rights, it will then check to see if our password is correct. If we don't have admin rights, it needs to echo that you do not have admin rights. And then if any of the values entered are not part of the if statement or the nested if statement, it will then echo an error onto the screen. So we'll start off, we'll say, we'll check to see if admin is equal to one. So one being yes and zero being no. Okay, so if admin is equal to one, echo you have admin rights. Let's do the else if. Else if admin equals zero, echo you do not have admin rights. And then lastly, if none of the conditions are met, let's say none of the none of the values are correct. All right, now for the nested if statement. Within the first part of the if we check to see if admin is one, we'll add another if statement. So if password is equal to my password, then we'll echo password correct. Else will echo that the password is incorrect. Okay, and what I'm going to do is because in PHP you can add, you can echo HTML onto the screen as well, just to neaten things up a little bit, I'm going to add a line break at the end of this first part just so that we don't have lines so that each line can begin on a new line on the browser. All right, so let's hit save, go over to our browser, click on the file. All right, so in the first example, it now shows us that we do have admin rights and the password is correct. Let's go back to our code and see why this is. Admin was set to one, which we said one is yes and zero is no in this case. The password was set to my password. So if admin is equal to one, which it is, it will echo onto the screen, you have admin rights. Then it goes on to check whether the password was correct. Here we said that the password was my password. If statement checked to see if the password was the same, which it is, and then it echoed password correct. So let's leave it. Let's leave admin with a value of one and we'll change the password to anything else. Let's just say one, two, three, four. We'll hit save, go over to the browser, We'll hit refresh and it says you have admin rights, but the password is incorrect, which is what we expected. Then let's change our admin to zero. We'll hit save. Now we'll expect it to tell us that we don't have admin rights. So let's have a look and see if this is the case. We'll hit refresh and you do not have admin rights. So that is correct. And then let's change it to anything else so that we can see if the else part works. Hit save. Go to our browser. Upon refresh, we get the error, which we expected. 